In this video, we're diving into the exciting world of Skyrim once again, bringing you the 11 must-have mods that you absolutely shouldn't miss this August 2023. From gameplay enhancements to stunning visual upgrades, we've got it all covered. So grab your sweet roll and let's jump right in. First and foremost, I'd like to introduce you to two noteworthy SKSE mods among the latest releases on Test Nexus. Let's start with the mod Arcane Disenchanter NG. This mod introduces new functionality to the Arcane Enchanter, allowing you to remove enchantments from items while retaining modifications like enhancement values. For instance, you can strip enhanced weapons or armor of their enchantments and apply different ones. By clicking on the desired magical item in the disenchant category, you can remove the magical effects from that item. Next up is Switch Comeback View Skessi. This mod provides a feature that automatically shifts the Chimera to a third-person perspective when entering combat or drawing a weapon, and then reverts to the previous viewpoint when combat concludes. Conversely, an optional file is included that lets you switch to first-person perspective during combat, giving you the choice. This mod seamlessly adjusts the perspective during combat, enhancing convenience and providing an immersive gaming experience. Moving on, I'd like to introduce you to two notable bug fix mods among the lineup. First up is Items Stolen Bug Fix. This mod, implemented as an SKSE plugin, offers a feature that accurately calculates the count of stolen items by the player. Normally, items like boxes or coin purses that were stolen wouldn't be correctly reflected in statistics. However, with this mod installed, the count of stolen items increases accurately. Additionally, through INI settings, you can even enable stealing of coins found in the world. Next is Female Equipment Scale Fix. This mod addresses the issue where the size of weapons, shields, and torches suddenly shrinks when female characters or NPCs wield them. This occurrence stems from the fact that the hand nodes for female characters are set smaller than those of male characters. This mod resolves the problem by adjusting the ratio between hand nodes and weapon nodes. It operates without scripts or ESP files and relies on SKSE and Moo Skeleton Editor to function. Moving on, I'd like to introduce you to four noteworthy replacer mods that have caught my attention. First, let's talk about Diverse Catches Base Object Swapper. This mod introduces 12 diverse variations to the Fishrack 01.nf mesh that displays caught fish in fishing scenarios. Using the Base Object Swapper framework, it replaces the existing fish racks with new meshes. With this mod, each fishing experience can yield different types of fish, and fishing racks by rivers or lakes can have a diverse appearance. Next up is Village Beds. This mod alters the mesh of beds in Skyrim. It replaces the mesh with a high-quality design featuring cozy pillows and leather details. I've chosen to showcase this mod as it adds a fresh allure to Skyrim's beds. If you find the object appealing in the video, consider giving it a try. This mod is ESP-free and consists solely of mesh files, making installation and removal hassle-free. Moving on to the third mod, Edge UI Wheeler Reskin. This mod retextures the Wheeler mod by D try to match the design of Edge UI. It brings a modern and sleek feel consistent with Edge UI's design. If you're a fan of the Edge UI style, this is a chance to revamp Wheeler's appearance to align with your preferences. Lastly, let's discuss TB's Parallax Whiterun Walls. This mod reconstructs Whiterun's walls in resolutions ranging from 2K to 8K and offers three different variations, all while supporting Parallax. The texturing of the walls becomes more three-dimensional, enhancing immersion. Elevate the beauty of Whiterun with these enhancements. Next, 
I would like to introduce you to three noteworthy outfit mods that have been recently released. Firstly, we have Coco Joan of Arc. This mod brings a high-quality outfit to Skyrim, inspired by the character Ruler, from the anime Fate Apocrypha. The helmet is designed to cover only the outer edges of the face, allowing the full face to remain visible. The fur shoulder embellishments add an extra layer of elegance to the outfit. The jacket layered over the cloth adds a sense of delicacy to the ensemble. The torn leggings contribute to a heightened sense of realism. This outfit supports CBBE and UUNP body slides, and the metal parts, like the helmet and waist, utilize HDT SMP physics for cloth movement. Overall, the harmonious blend of metal armor and cloth creates an outstanding outfit that I highly recommend to all of you. Next, we have the Hinterland Ranger outfit. This mod adds a North Skyrim robe made of leather and cloth to Skyrim. It's an excellent outfit that suits both males and females, featuring SMP effects for added realism. The overall blend of cloth and leather works well together, and the added patterns sporadically enhance the uniqueness of this attire. The raised collar and exposed shoulders are among the standout features of this outfit. This attire evokes the image of an agile rogue or martial artist, making it a must-have addition. With support for several color options, you can choose according to your preference. Lastly, we have Somewhere in Between, 3BA Armor Compilation Replacer. This mod retextures and replaces various armor and weapon sets to fit the 3BA body. It's an impressive mod that covers over 30 armor and weapon sets, including Elven, Steel, Orcish, and more. This mod offers a vast array of improvements. Armor and weapon colors can be selected from silver, gold, or black options. The waist of the armor is streamlined for a sleeker appearance, and weapon handles are designed for greater comfort. The practical and refined design changes make both armor and weapons more functional. Moreover, the quality of these armor and weapon textures is vibrant and sharp. With added gloss and reflective effects, this mod truly shines in reimagining vanilla armors and weapons to be exceptionally stylish and appealing. And there you have it, fellow adventurers. Those were the 11 must-have mods that are shaking up the Skyrim modding scene this August. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things Skyrim and more. Thanks for watching, and as always, may your arrows fly true and your thum be strong. Until next time.